If you find other workspaces hard to use or particularly confusing, if you have the freedom to do so, why not try Notion? Notion's block-based interface allows you to create the workspace you need according to what works best for you. So if you organize best using colors and want to change the background color of a block, here's what you can do. The easiest way to get this done is to use Notion's desktop site or app. To start, head over to notion.so and sign in if you haven't already, or open Notion's desktop app and navigate to the page you want to edit. Once it loads, just mouse over the block in question and click on the multi-dotted icon that appears on the left. On the menu that pops up, mouse over color and select your background color under the background section. This works with every block except for databases. If you want to add a background color to your database, you'll need to use a workaround using a toggle list block. To do this, mouse over your database and click on the plus icon that appears to the left. Type in slash toggle list and select the block on the menu that pops up. Give it a name, then mouse over it and click on the multi-dotted icon that appears to the left. On the menu that appears, mouse over color and select your background color under the background section. Drag and drop your database block onto this toggle list. Your database block should disappear from the main page. Clicking on the arrow icon next to the name you gave it will reveal it with the background color you've chosen. Since you can't choose the background color for the page itself, you can use this workaround to give most of your page a background color by dragging and dropping in the rest of your page. If you're using Notion's mobile app, things are a little bit different. To color the background on a block, tap the triple dotted icon next to it and select color from the menu screen that pops up. Once your selection loads, just tap on the background color you want to apply under the background section to apply it immediately. To highlight a text block, just tap the block you want to edit to place your cursor in it. On the menu ribbon above your keyboard, scroll to the right and tap on the box and select color to access your color options. Scroll down to the background section and tap on the color you want to apply. To add in a toggle list for the workaround, tap a blank section on your page and tap on the plus icon on the page using the menu ribbon on top of your keyboard. Then select toggle list from the list of blocks. After typing in a name, just scroll to the right on the menu at the top of your keyboard and select color to access your color options. Scroll down to the background section and tap on the color you want to apply. If you like this guide, make sure you subscribe for all sorts of videos covering Notion and other technology. And don't forget to check out one of these videos we think you might enjoy.